Enrico Fermi, September 29, 1901. November 28, 1954, was an Italian-American physicist who is best remembered for his studies in beta decay, the development of the first reactor, and the development of quantum theory. He gave the 1938 Nobel Prize in Physics. Enrico Fermi, is a person who is quite important in the 20th century when viewed from various causes and majors. He started his education by studying grammar. But, at that time his talent for mathematics and judgment was considered by him and his family. Thus, in 1918, he decided to study at the University of Pisa and took four years to graduate well and in 1922 obtained his doctorate in physics there. Furthermore, he briefly continued his education in Germany and the Netherlands until in 1924 he returned to Italy to teach mathematics and physics at the University of Florence. In 1938, he obtained a professorship from the University of Rome, then a teaching position in physics at the University of Columbia, and he regained the position of the Institute of Nuclear Learning at the University of Chicago a position that could be exploited and life ended. He was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1938 for achievements regarding induced radioactivity. Fermi is generally regarded as one of the foremost scientists of the 20th century who was very successful in both theory and experiment. Along with Robert Oppenheimer, Fermi is often referred to as the father of the atomic bomb. In addition to several awards that Fermi has received, several institutions, such as the Fermi National Accelerator Laboratory and Enrico Fermi Nuclear Generating Station, use the name Fermi as the name of their institution. The following are popular Enrico Fermi quotes in the general community. Before I came here, I was confused about this subject. Having listened to your lecture, I am still confused, but on a higher level. There are two possible outcomes. If the result confirms the hypothesis, then you've made a measurement. If the result is contrary to the hypothesis, then you've made a discovery. If I could remember the names of these particles, I would have been a botanist. Whatever nature has in store for mankind, unpleasant as it may be, men must accept, for ignorance is never better than knowledge. When asked what characteristics Nobel Prize winning physicists had in common I cannot think of a single one, not even intelligence. Such a weapon goes far beyond any military objective and enters the range of very great natural catastrophes. By its very nature it cannot be confined to a military objective but becomes a weapon which in practical effect is almost one of genocide.
It is clear that the use of such a weapon cannot be justified on any ethical ground which gives a human being a certain individuality and dignity even if he happens to be a resident of an enemy country.